Hey everybody, it's Clancy with HKN, and today we're going to do a problem for ECE 2001W, circuits one. So, in this circuit, we are analyzing the steady state AC properties. So, specifically, we're trying to find what's this current up here in phasor form. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to take, we're, oh, we're going to find the Thevenin equivalent of this circuit. So the first thing we'll do is we'll find the open circuit voltage here. So just imagine that that resistor is gone. And then let's call this A and call this B. So here, this is just a voltage divider rule. So we're going to have 12 with a phase shift of zero times negative J2 over 2 minus J2. And we need to rationalize this so we can get that J out of the denominator. So we're going to multiply by 2 plus J2. And that's going to equal 12, the phase shift of zero times, let's see, 2 times negative J2 is negative 4J. I like to write my J's first so that I can tell right away if something's complex. And then here we're going to have a positive J2 times a negative J2 is... Is that negative? No, it's just 4. And then that is divided by... 4 minus 4. 4 plus 4, sorry. So that equals 12 with a phase shift of 0 times, let's see, 1 minus j over 2. So that's the voltage right up there. Now we'll find the voltage here at the node B. So that's just Ohm's law, V equals I times R, so we'll have, well that's VA, and then we have VB equals 4 with a phase shift of 0, that's amps, times 2 ohms equals 8 with a phase shift of 0 volts. So now what we need to do is we need to find the voltage between node A and node B. So we'll take VA minus VB. So VA minus VB equals 12 with a phase shift of 0 times 1 minus J over 2 minus 8 with a phase shift of 0. And we can simplify this a little bit here. So if we distribute this 1 half outside, we'll have a 6 out here, and then the 2 disappears. So this equals 6 with a phase shift to 0, and we'll also distribute it amongst the 1 and the negative j. So we'll have 6 with a phase shift to 0, minus 6j, or j6, because I like to put the j's first, and then we're subtracting 8. So this, at the end of the day, equals 6 minus 8 is negative 2, and then minus J6. And that is our open circuit voltage right here. Now that we found our open circuit voltage right here, we're going to find our Thevenin resistance. So what we've done is we've opened up our current source over here, and we've shorted our voltage source here. And what we need to do is find the parallel resistance, sorry, parallel impedance between these two branches, and then put that in series with that impedance right there. So let's start. So we'll have these two in parallel. 1 over 2 minus, oh sorry, plus 1 over negative J2 to the negative 1. This is the parallel resistance, parallel impedance right here. And if you use your properties of J, you'll see that this equals 1 over 2 plus j over 2 to the negative 1, and that equals 2 over 1 plus j. So that's your parallel impedance between those two branches, and now what we need to do is add 2 ohms to that. <clears throat> 
to find the, the R thevenin. So we have R thevenin equals 2 over 1 plus j plus 2 equals, let's see, 2 plus 2 plus j2 over 1 plus j, and that equals 4 plus j2 over 1 plus j. And then let's rationalize this denominator here. So that's going to equal, we're going to multiply by 1 minus j, and that equals 4 minus j4 plus j2 plus 2, and that is all over 2. So that equals, let's see, uh, we'll have 6 divided by 2 is 3, and then negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1, so 3 minus j. And that's our feminine resistance here, our feminine impedance. Okay, so now what we need to do is find I-O. Remember the initial goal of the problem was to find I-O right here. So what we did is we found the open circuit voltage, and then what we found is the Thevenin resistance going through here. So what we can do is just take that, um, using our load resistance right here, the 4 ohms, we'll find the current. So let's redraw the circuit so we can understand what I just said. So we have our voltage source, and that's VOC. Negative 2 minus J6. We come up here, we have our Thevenin resistance. It's Thevenin impedance. I'm not going to get that right. So that's going to be 3 minus J. And then down here we have our load, which is 4 ohms. And we're trying to find I-O. Since this is a series circuit, we can just add these two together and then use Ohm's law. So the end result is that I-O equals negative 2 minus J6 over 3 minus J plus 4. And that is the final answer for I-O. I hope that helped.